Okay, hi everyone, my name is Sikis McKenzie and the title of my presentation or the drug that I'll be presenting on is methothrexate. So methothrexate is a chemotherapeutic drug that is used to treat acute lymphoblastic leukemia and the drug basically acts by binding to the active site of the enzyme dihydrofolate reductase and dihydrofolate reductase converts folate into other intermediates which are then used to synthesize nucleotides. So methothrexate Threxate bites the active site of this um, enzyme through competitive, inhib competitive inhibition, and this prevents the synthesis of the downstream um, intermediates and eventually prevents nucleotide synthesis. Nucleotides are important or necessary for DNA replication and repair, and thus when these are not synthesized, this leads to reduced cell proliferation and and eventually cell death. So as we know from previously that DNA damage or excessive DNA damage basically causes the activation of P53. So whenever DNA is damaged and being unable to be repaired, P53 is activated and this eventually leads to the activation of PUMA and PUMA inhibits BCL2. The inhibition of BCL2 allows for um, cells to undergo apoptosis. So basically methyl Methothrexate allows uh, or it involves the BCL2 enzyme being inhibited and apoptosis occurring to these cancer cells, and this is how it induces death in these cancer cells. So, as we know, DNA synthesis is very is overactive in cancer cells because they divide very fast and thus they need a lot of nucleotides in order to compensate for this um, fast rate of cell division. So the DNA replication process is overactive in cancer cells and uh, as we mentioned before the enzyme dihydroxyfolate reductase is necessary for the production of new enzymes or rather new nucleotides that are needed for DNA synthesis and repair. So this pathway is overactive in cancer cells, while in normal cells it is going on at a very slow rate or normal rate. So the drug basically acts by inhibiting the enzyme dihydroxyfolate reductase, and therefore this leads to um, production of less nucleotides. The production of less nucleotides leads to um, reduced nucleotide DNA replication, reduced DNA repair, and eventually cell death. So there are several side effects of methothrexate as there are side effects of other um, chemotherapeutic drugs and these involve inflammation of the mouth, lips, nausea, abdominal pain, blurred vision, leukopenia, which is um, reduced white blood cell count. And these are basically side effects because the Methyl methothrexate targets cells that are actively divided or fast dividing. These cells are, are epithelial cells and blood cells. Epithelial cells are known to line the inner walls of the mouth and the intestine, and blood cells, such as white blood cells, which white blood cells which divide to produce more white blood cells, are fast dividing cells. And if the process of DNA replication is inhibited, these cells will be affected. And as these cells are unable to divide and repair themselves, this results in the side effects such as inflammation, inflammation of the lips, um, abdominal pain, and leukopenia, which are low white blood cell counts, which we see as side effects of um, methothrexate. So my question is, since so many oncogenes have been identified, why is drug treatment the main focus of treating cancer cells instead of gene therapy? These are my references. Thank you.